Well, we're here with uh, Fiona Durston and Ricky Valshaw, obviously from uh, Team GB, para reigning. And we thought we just wanted to ask you a few questions. That, uh, we've had a little word with Francesca Sternberg, and she's helped us come up with uh, some good ones to help get across to everybody. Yeah, what Francesca, it's all about. Have, yeah, all right, here we go. So, how did you get involved, uh, and what would you say is the main difference between para reigning and para dressage? Um, I got involved, I had a call from Lee earlier in the year. I used to ride dressage, power dressage, I was on the team for a few years. Um, I have retired, I've had enough of water sports. Lee phoned me up and said, oh, would you be interested in getting involved with this? And I said, absolutely not, um, I've, I've had enough. Then Francesca got on the phone about a week later, she was a little bit more persuasive. And, um, <laughs> like she is. Yeah, Francesca, <laughs> typical. And uh, yeah, next thing you know, after a year off, I had two days on a horse, and then I was competing and managed to qualify for the, the World Championships. Um, with regards to the difference between reining and, and dressage, I, you know, I've been doing the dressage for 16 years, and it kind of got a little bit stale for me. Um, but this is like it's like breathed a whole new life into it for me. I'm really enjoying being in the sport again. Um, I get to wear jeans, ride a stallion, wear a Stetson, and shout yeehaw while doing spins and slides. It's like it's a dream come true. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm a cowboy. It's great. <laughs> you finding it a little bit more comfortable? Yeah, though. yeah, it, it's great for enjoying. It. See, I'm. I got involved purely accidentally. Um, Francesca had already got Lee and Ricky on board. Uh, she was telling her housekeeper one day that she was short of power rider for her team for Holland. And her housekeeper um, knew of me, her daughter worked for me. Um, so I literally got a phone call on a Monday to say, did I want to go at raining? I knew nothing about Western or Western horses. And I'm always up for a new challenge. So um, so drove me over and I fell in love with the horses straight away and not really look back and um, it's been really good fun and we've had a great laugh learning a new skill champion so yeah it's been a whirlwind um, I've won the Saddle Series this year which has been a fantastic achievement and really great for the sport um, for it to be won by European okay so how difficult was it to make the change from para dressage to para reigning given the really short space of time that you had before you had your very first show at podium um i, <laughs> I think if you're going to make a transition into equestrian sports that is definitely the easiest one to do at the end of the day with dressage you go into an arena and you do a set pattern in western you go into an arena and you do a set pattern Yes, the movements are different, but the way of riding is different. But in essence, you, you go in and you show. So for me, I haven't ridden for, for a year before getting into the rain, and so it wasn't just learning a new method, it was sort of getting the body moving right again, so I had a year, and I literally hadn't even sat on a horse. Um, and it's totally different with, with, with the dress, I just so sort of powerful, because you've got the contact there. And with raining, um, they're, they're sort of long, but they're not on the forehand, they're, they're still correct, but it's more of a low outline and way of going and with the one-handed riding as well it was, it was just a, a small adjustment really I mean we've both ridden horses before so we've both got a certain level of power, a certain level of balance you know we, we can sit and steer a horse it was just learning different aids um, and we've both got international experience so the competition side didn't really bother me I don't know about you um, it was just learning different aids really and actually the horses are that well trained and you know credit to the Sternbergs because we've been riding their horses they've trained absolutely fantastically really helped us well and um, I, I didn't actually find it that difficult. I thought I was going to struggle a lot more than I did. Um, it suits me and my disability great. Probably easier physically than, than the dressage. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I love the sport. It's very addictive. Um, it's really addictive. I found the hardest thing was um, I ride a lot on instinct and I had to sometimes um, kind of override that instinct, like things like getting a horse to back up in raining. Uh, you put your legs forward, whereas in dressage you would put your legs back. So things like that, I just instinctively had to kind of think about it a little bit more. Um, but the horses are beautifully trained and, you know, great fun and very, very safe to be on. I th watching you, I think you're with the, with the dressage, you're in a set size arena, aren't you? So yeah. You're in a 20 by 40 or a 20 by 60. And these, the, the arenas are different. Like for me, it's not a problem. I can see, I can, I can see where X, I can see where the judges. But honestly, I've been scared watching you ride in an arena that you don't know what I've size I've been scared is. a few times. <laughs> um, luckily, the horses tend to go around the rails um, and they know their job really well. But there have been a few hairy moments when uh, I've heard uh, 
to have the sounding alarm that I might take the judges Honestly, down. Honestly, at the World <laughs> Championships, right, you don't know how close you were. We, you were cantering towards the judge, and Tabitha's on the mic going, turn, turn, and you just didn't turn. Honestly, the judge, the judge was getting out of his seat, ready to dart. Honestly, it was scary, man. It was scary. Good crap, it's all good scary. Fun. I, think that, I think that's probably one of the things that I think a lot of us as able-bodied riders have actually come out with, and certainly it's the communication and how you've overcome overcome the communication boundaries. Fiona, I know you work very closely with Tabitha Sternberg, Alan. Yeah. Uh, I know she's your eyes, isn't she, yeah. in the arena, even though she's outside of it. It's a shame Tabitha's not with us to answer. That must be pretty difficult for her too. Yeah, I but, think that was hard for her, because she, you know, she'd never had any experience working with blind riders, and then suddenly to be thrown in the deep end guiding someone around on a horse. Um, you know, was quite a responsibility for her. But yeah. you know, we've had a laugh along the way, and I haven't run any judges over yet. So, so. It's close. <laughs> close. It's close. But she's from yeah, I was still on the barrier, brilliant. and even I was getting ready to do one. <laughs> So okay, so basically you, you've said how much you think our horses are well trained. Uh, how do you think para reining will feature to and inspire perhaps other para riders? Do you think it will be a valuable sport for other para riders to try? Definitely. Yeah, I feel quite strongly about this. As, um, you know, with, with the RDA in particular, you know, you're getting a lot of sort of at the, at the moment, it's a grassroots for your para dressage, yeah? So if we can get this internationally recognised as part of WEG and the FBI and all that, it just gives them a whole new avenue. And at the end of the day, you know, there are a lot of young, young lads out there, and I think it's really going to appeal to the young lads. You know, it, it can be seen as a, a feminine sport sometimes, the dressage in particular. It's very, very female driven, and that, you know, there's, there's no political incorrectness in saying that. And I think, you know, for, for some of the, the young disabled guys coming up, um, that are, you know, you know, they're going to feel more confident being putting a pair of jeans on and a cowboy hat and a big belt buckle and a bit of fun rather than you know going down the job route and that, you know that's no disrespect to any sport but I do think it's going to help a lot of young kids mentally. I think the saddles are going to help a lot of disabilities. I mean this saddle they're just so comfortable and for neurological conditions where your balance is affected, your muscles don't work right, if it does hit the fan, you can just grab hold of the, the horn and you've got a bit of safety there. With the dressage, the jumping, anything like that, you know, you've got a little bit less safety. The horses are just next level. The way the horses are trained, I think, is really suitable for like para riders. A lot of them are trained off your voice and over small aids, which is really good for people who haven't got as much coordination. Um, I think, you know, they're a lot safer. Um, you know, they're picked for their trainability and their rideability, whereas sadly, a lot of the dressage horses are now quite highly strung and quite spooky, which, you know, as a blind rider is quite scary and quite disorientating. Um, whereas, you know, the Western horses, you say, whoa, and they stop. That's a brilliant emergency stop and it would appeal to a lot of people in English yeah. riding, really. If, if the coach can shout, whoa, from the ground when it starts kicking up and the horse stops, you're going to save a lot of riders, aren't you? There's no two in a it. it is what it is. I often think that's down a lot to the, to the, yeah. the actual breed of the horse. Yeah. Uh, I've been They're dress, a lot calmer. Yeah, I've been yeah. dressed all my life. And to get that level of responsiveness and power into that horse, that they're fed up and they, they can become highly strong and also sometimes unpredictable. The, 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 the quarter horses, they're just great. But you still get that feeling of power. Oh, That's what I like. You still get that adrenaline, that feeling of power, but in you know, a much Total more control. control. It's controlled. Way. It's controllable, and they're, they're very quick to stop and calm down. There's nowhere you could. A, a lot of the warblers kind of varied. Everything that I've ridden through my dressage life. To get them to do these sliding stops, the spins, they'd be so wound up at the end of it, you'd never be able to halt at the centre line to stop. You'd okay. <laughs> you know, be on the back legs. Um, it's a credit to the breed and also the training. I think the, the Western style, the rain, is underrated as a discipline. I think there's a lot more technicality that goes in it than people, than people think. And Western riding as a whole. I think, you know, not just the rain, even if rain doesn't appeal to someone, I think, you know, there are other disciplines within Western that, you know, would be suitable for, um, you know, disabled riders, which perhaps aren't quite as um, adrenaline junkies as the raining, which we've got into. Yeah. So, Brilliant. Well, one last question. Okay, we know you've had the most amazing year, um, obviously from medals at Bodium, out to Holland, obviously brought back the Team Silver, fantastic achievement. But then to crown it all, we know, Ricky, you finished fifth in the World Series. Fiona, you won the World Series. If you had to describe your year in one sentence, what would it be, Ricky? 
taken over by the Sternbergs. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's been great. It's been. I was retired seven months ago, and now I'm ranked number fifth in the world in a different sport, hoping to go to Wake next year. It's been a whirlwind. It's been fantastic. I've met some great people, some great horses. That would be the Western things. Shop. And uh, yeah, the Western Shop, they're all right. <laughs> uh, Fiona? What a whirlwind, amazing experience. Um, dreams come true, you know, I spent a lot of time and money in dressage and to come and have this amazing experience and, you know, win the World Series has just been what an experience. Really excited for next year and let's hope we can get it into the World's Equestrian Games. Fiona, Ricky, I've got to say thank you. You're an absolute pleasure to have you. I know that you've inspired the Western community so much. We've had so much positive feedback in all disciplines because now all of a sudden we don't moan about a dodgy knee or anything like that. You know, it's like we can't because, you know, we've got Lee and Fiona and Ricky out there. And Lee, we're sorry that he can't join us, you know, today. But one of the things I'd like to say is obviously from the Western Shop, we are proud sponsors of Para Reigning GB. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you And to, you, very much. Thank you, for you that. know, anybody else who wants to get involved with the Para Reigning, get involved. It's fantastic. You guys are so nice to work with. And to be honest, you're just an absolute inspiration. I'm really grateful to have you here and thanks for taking the time out just to answer a few questions for thanks us. For Thank us. you for having us. Thank Enjoyed you. it. Cheers, guys. Cheers.